Let's see if I can't grab it. There we go. Uh, you just want to keep running trains, keep going. There, like I said before, the reload canceling does not work, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So just keep watch for that, especially when you got the. Uh, I believe they're called diesel punks. I usually just call them big daddies. You might, if you've uh, ever watched Sizzle, X Gen Sizzle, he's not an X Gen anymore. For uh, I'm not even gonna get into it, but he's one of my good friends. Me and him play this a lot, and uh, we we call those guys big daddies. So you might have heard if you watch him, you might have heard him say that before. And I need to get over there and get Jug. They, I've seen them spawn anywhere from 5 to 7 is when the first one will spawn. And the first time you kill them, you get a part of the fire staff. And every other time, you just get drops. You just get a random drop, which is kind of nice. Kind of uh, a lifesaver, I guess, in a sense. And uh, now I've jugged, so I'll be doing a little bit better. It's in a, another thing is as soon as I get to my last zombie, you always want to keep the last one to do these generators after like the first five, six rounds, I'd say. You always want to keep a zombie left just so you can uh, survive this. And I don't think I did mention in the beginning, but I'm actually gonna be doing a challenge on this. Only wall guns, no box at all. So what I mean by wall guns is any gun on the map, and that is including digs and the staffs, although I'm probably not gonna use the staffs. I don't know, there's just something about them that I don't like. I don't know. I honestly don't feel like the staffs are worth a weapon slot unless I have mule kick and I have three slots. Because once you're out of ammo, you're done. And when you're going for high rounds, it's it's not good. You want to have wall guns where you can buy ammo or guns that last you for a long time. And once, uh, if I do manage to get a DSR out of the uh, ground then I'll definitely be having fun because I once I get if I do get it I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because DSR with uh, double tap it, it goes one shot to round 47 and I've tested this and it is proven so that you can quote me on and if it doesn't then it's probably because both bullets have to hit to uh to kill the zombie really otherwise it won't work well not won't it won't not that it won't work but it'll just uh it'll take two shots because you miss one you never want to try to hip fire it unless you're in a sticky situation and you need to get out of there fast and uh see what it's talking about there when you only have like one or two zombies left you can just run trains i always buy stamina up as well that's another thing you want to Definitely buy Juggernaut and Stamina uh, right away as soon as you can. Just because of the fact that you need to run in this map because of the uh, the mud, it really slows you down. I don't want that. Well, actually, I'll take the ammo. You know, I already have full ammo, but anyways, you need to run around here fast. That's that's really that's another thing in this map. You need to get places and you need to get there fast. So if you want to, another thing, these zombies always spawn up here. And I figured, uh, on this map, I, I love how they went back to the old system. When there is one zombie left that is naturally spawned, if you let that zombie survive and you run out of like a certain location out of their reach, they'll just respawn. For a while, they started doing it. Oh yeah, here's another uh, fire disc. I'll show you some parts as well. Some locations, there's one there. It can be here, and it can be right next to the tank, which I'll show you guys when I get there. But, uh, anyways, what was I talking about? Got a little off track there. Um, jeez, I completely forgot. Probably sound like an idiot right now. Um, yeah, I'll probably remember later. Uh, another thing, when you complete this generator, you get a part of the fire staff. So, which is kind of nice. Um, honestly would have uh, rather had them do something that's a little more challenging I guess not really challenging but is more I don't know hard to get kind of I don't know just my personal preference and anyways I'm gonna get the tank oh he got fast man 
Yeah, right there is where the other park can be. I'm gonna kill that guy. And, uh... Oh yeah, anyways, I was talking about the, the zombie spawning. So if you run out of location and the zombie just dies naturally, he'll respawn. But for a while, they, they stopped doing that. They made it so, like, you run out of location, zombie dies, round ends, and you're practically screwed. I'm not sure about crawlers. I think it works that way with crawlers, but if you don't touch the zombie and you just let him free roam, you should be good for a while. It, it doesn't go forever, but that's a given with these uh, new Black Ops 2 maps. That's always been that way. But except for World at War and I think, I don't know about Black Ops. I don't really remember too much. Anyways, like I was talking about before, right here is where you jump off. But I don't know about Black Ops, the first one, if that was that way. I don't know, leave a comment in the description if it was or not. And I kind of screwed myself over here. Usually I ride the tank over from that, that generator that is completed over to here and get this last generator, number three. But usually I have enough money to do this, and I do not this time. So let's see. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That was luck right there. So I usually open up this door and then open that there, uh, the door right there. And there's, there's another part for the zombie shield right here. Or it can be over back here where I was before. Which it probably is at. I think there's a third location, but I'm not exactly sure on that. Oh, there is. Okay. Well, it's not here. I think it's probably down by the fire portal. Um, I, I believe I found it there one time. Ooh, I need to get out of here. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, this is getting a little, uh, iffy here. Taking a lot of hits. This might be it, guys. <laughs> Can he do it? Look at that. That was luck. I'm not even gonna lie. Well, uh, a little bit of skill. I'm not gonna brag, though. Um, anyway, I didn't even know what I was talking about before. Oh yeah, the uh, zombie shield, I already have two of them, don't I? Yep, the zombie shield location can be back in that fire spot, I've seen it before. And uh, once I get the last zombie here, I'll go down there. Okay, I better stop killing zombies. Okay, give me that. Alright, so then this is the last generator, and if you guys don't know, that opens up Pack Punch. I'm just gonna keep telling you guys what happens on this map, just in case you're new to it, you haven't even gotten it yet. Maybe you're on PS3, PC, you haven't gotten this map yet, it hasn't come out. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep telling you guys what's going on. Just give you a little insight of it, if you don't know. So I apologize if I get annoying telling you guys stuff that you probably know. But it's just to give you guys a little insight on it. So anyways, there's speed call right there for those that don't know. And I'm going to run back to the fire portal and I'm going to see if it's not there. And I just noticed something. It's a little bit odd that it's round 7 and uh, Big Daddy hasn't spawned yet. I find that a little bit odd. So I'm not exactly sure how the spawning works as far as that. Yep, see, here it is. So this is the last location it could be. Another part, I believe, could be down there for the uh, Maxis drone. But I'm not exactly positive on that. I I don't really remember too much. I've seen it in a couple locations. But I'm not exactly sure as far as where it can be all the time or if it's whatever. So... Anyways, now I have the zombie shield. This will help a lot. I usually build it right here, so if you're passing through, you can just grab it. Keep going. But another location that I do it is by the tank. That does help a lot. So now I practically have myself set up here as far as uh, perks and getting generators done. Another thing you got to watch out for, though, is the... Uh, the paladins will randomly spawn sometimes and oh there's a big daddy whenever you hear that noise that's a big daddy spawning 